Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna deep dive into sunscreen. Do we really need to apply sunscreen indoors? How much sunscreen do we need to apply? Is sunscreen a must? Just before that, if this is the very first time you're seeing this face, hello, I am Jovita and I would love it if you took a second to click that subscribe button just underneath this video. Now, let's get started. Okie dokes, guys, the most common question that I get even to this day, believe it or not, is Jovi, do I really need to wear a sunscreen? Sunscreen is not a myth and sunscreen is something that all of us have to apply because the sun rays are made up of UVA and UVB rays that can cause damage to our skin. Of course, you've heard of scary damages like skin cancer, but apart from that, you can also increase the rate at which your skin ages. So fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, sunspots. After a particular age, if you start seeing a lot of freckles or sunspots all over your body that is because your skin did not have protection against sun there was a study that was done on a truck conductor a couple of years ago guys she drove on a particular path for 20 years and this side of her face was exposed to the sun and obviously it was right next to the window and the other side was not exposed to the sun 20 years later this side of her face the one that was exposed to sunlight had drastically aged more than the other side of of her face so that just goes on to show how drastic the effects of exposure to sunlight to your skin is so applying sunscreen is just basically us protecting our skin the second most important question that I get is physical sunscreen or chemical sunscreen Jovi what is all of this a physical sunscreen is something that creates a physical block between your skin and the Sun so all the Sun rays that reach your skin gets bounced away because of a physical block now what is a chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreen is is something that stays on top of your skin and absorbs the sun rays and does not let it seep into your skin. Pregnant women, breastfeeding women and children are advised not to use a chemical sunscreen. So for these people and in general, there is a new school of study that states that physical sunscreen is a lot better than chemical sunscreen. The third most commonly asked question is how much sunscreen do we need to apply? Now a rule of thumb that we've heard dermatologists talk about is to apply two full fingers or three full fingers all over your face. There is a calculation and everything that you can find in other YouTube channels from actual chemists, which uh, they would explain better than myself. But a sunscreen works only if you apply pretty much a thick layer of it on your face because it is creating a physical block on your face from the sun. If you apply just a pea-sized amount, like you apply your moisturizer, spread it and apply it all over your face and neck, you're not really getting the protection that the label promises. Now, the question that we've all been waiting for, do we really need to apply sunscreen when we are indoors? Now, this really depends on person to person and their house and how much sun exposure they have. If you live in a house with large windows or balcony doors and very white reflective floor and large white walls, all of these are reflective surfaces, guys. So if you have a large window, the sunlight and the sun rays are seeping right into your house which is amazing you need sunlight obviously don't block it out and your walls and your floor everything bounces light off of the surface and obviously you are exposed to sunlight now if you live in a place where you don't have that much sunlight basically plants can't grow inside of your house because that's how dim and dark your room is you might be okay with skipping a sunscreen but otherwise you need to apply sunscreen now let me talk about my current favorite sunscreen obsession. This is the matte moisturizing mineral sunscreen from the Pink Foundry. This has SPF of 30 with broad spectrum UVA, UVB protection with PA++++. This is a mineral sunscreen that does not leave a white cast. I'm wearing this sunscreen underneath my foundation today and as you can see there is no flashback either. It does not give you any white cast guys. I was yet to find a good physical sunscreen that did not leave a grey, white, purple cast on my face and this just does not do it. And also this is perfect for oily combination skin because it has a very soothing, almost moisturizing but also mattifying at the same time kind of a texture. It's absolutely brilliant. It's comforting and for those lazy girls who do not like to have multiple multiple layers of skincare in the morning, you can wash your face, apply a quick serum and go straight into the sunscreen because this also hydrates your skin a little bit. It comes in a light beige 
color which is universally suitable for all skin tone guys and it feels so hydrated and moisturized and non-greasy and non-sticky and non-oily at the same time it's such a wonderful formulation i absolutely absolutely love it this sunscreen contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide which gives you a hundred percent physical protection. This also contains shea butter and cucumber extract which is both nourishing and hydrating and protecting to your skin. It is water and sweat resistant for up to 80 minutes. This is also fragrance free, cruelty free and non-comedogenic so even people with sensitive skin can use this sunscreen. For a 50 gram tube of the Pink Foundry Mattifying Mineral Sunscreen it will cost you 1650 rupees. Another question that you guys asked me is what about blue light? Now if you don't know what is blue light that is a light that is emitted by all the devices in our house so your phone screen your laptop screen your television screen all the lights they are all emitting blue light now blue light can cause just as much damage to your skin like sun rays and blue light is always indoors and we are always exposed to it from right from our phone from this distance and we are always on the phone these days so can you imagine the amount of exposure that we are having to blue light a regular sun sunscreen does not protect you from blue light radiation. You need a moisturizer with a blue light filter to protect you from all these devices and light that is emitting blue light. And that is why I like the Pink Foundry Daily Moisturizer with Blue Light Protection. This contains bioactive complex of three plums and mandarin orange peel. This moisturizer is very light. It absorbs easily into your skin. It does not leave your skin feeling greasy. It is so silky smooth and it has antioxidants and it keeps your skin hydrated and moisturized for a very, very long time. You can clearly see that I have been obsessing with this moisturizer guys. I've used this, thoroughly abused this and I'm obsessed, okay? A 50ml tube of this will cost you 1650 rupees. I love the fact that the sunscreen layers so beautifully over this moisturizer. I've noticed that when layered together, it just applies like a dream. So silky, so smooth and absolutely no grey cast at all. Love this combination. All right, since we spoke about daycare and my morning routine, I also want to talk about a product that I have been obsessing from the Pink Foundry for the nighttime routine. And this is the Pink Foundry Overnight Exfoliating Radiance Mask. Now this is an overnight, non-sticky, pillow-proof exfoliating mask with AHA and BHA. Some of the key ingredients of this mask are caviar lime extract, Australian Tasmanian mountain pepper, olive fruit extract and encapsulated salicylic acid. Now guys, you know that I absolutely love chemical exfoliation and some of the benefits of chemical exfoliation is getting rid of your dead skin cells which will expose your bright, fresh, new, healthy, glowing skin cells so your overall face looks healthy and glowing and brighter and happier. Chemical exfoliation also reduces hyperpigmentation and it helps your other skincare products to work better because you're removing that layer of dead skin cells. The salicylic acid in this mask also helps with whiteheads and blackheads and if you have these occasional breakouts and pimples, this will help preventing them as well. Now, how do you use the overnight exfoliating radiance mask? This would be your very last step in your evening skincare routine and you go to sleep and in the next day morning guys you have to apply your sunscreen because you do not want to waste all that beautiful effect of your exfoliation. Nighttime is the perfect best time to exfoliate your skin so you have to protect your skin in the morning from again the harmful rays of the sun. Let's talk about the texture of this as well. This is just so light and airy and almost gel like as you can see and this will not make your skin feeling suffocated and thick and clogged and oily and this is just such a comfortable easily absorbable texture and formula and you wake up to the most glowing hydrated radiant skin of your life when you use this at night use this once or twice a week a 30 ml tub of the pink foundry overnight exfoliating radiance mask will cost you rupees 1200 all of these products are available on the pinkfoundry.com and nika.com and to avail a 10% extra discount you can use my code jovita10 and also this video is very very kindly sponsored by the pink foundry guys i want to take a second to show my gratitude for supporting my channel and my work
All of the other links and information will be listed in the description bar below, so definitely check that out. And the very final question I'm going to take on sunscreen to wrap this video up from my Instagram is, is it necessary to apply a sunscreen even when it is raining? Yes, guys, invisible harmful rays of the sun is still reaching us and damaging our skin. So we have to apply a layer of sunscreen even on gloomy, cloudy, rainy days. And at the end of the night, make sure to thoroughly wash your face and remove all of your sunscreen. If you like this video, definitely click that thumbs up button just underneath this video. And I will see you in the comment section underneath. Okay, I love you so much. Mwah.